besties. You did not die nearly as quickly as I expected you to. Actually, whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on. different like what I be like oh yes oh this was a bloodstained one all right there's another one just always constant scanning what was that one oh shoot I think it was bloodstained as well what did it say oh rash vine score more rash vine score Is that it? No doors over here? Okay. How many do I need to get through here? Another strange door. Who put these here? Oh, I didn't. And why? Uh... Crane provides tools, burning wheels, lower gates, a brick to lines, forge the broken sigil. Locked the way behind, claws raking the door, scattered all the keys. What trails my steps does not... This one uses a different kind of gear from the others. We don't have to open it. My stone ah! the other way. Though I am curious to see the other side. Well, freaking heck, you fine. You always are. Uh... Open the first gate. I did. Whoa, Dorian, come back. That scar on your nose is new. Yeah, Fell out of bed. You sleep on the ground. <laughs> Surprise me too. You sleep on the ground. What was ringing at me? Oh, rash vine. I can always use some rash vine, I noticed. Oh, hey! Whoa, whoa! Revenant! Revenant! Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. Um... Okay, get some. Fetching, fetchy, fetch. Back, back, back! Oh, dang it, didn't quite, it sort of worked. Should have saved it a bit. Okay, hold up. Okay, okay, time to go, time to go, time to go. Where's the revenant again? Oh, uh, well, here we go. Alright. Perfect. Oh, why is this one? I can't. Okay, there we go. Okay, wow, Solus, that was awesome. Oh wait, uh, how's the Revenant doing? Uh, I was like, you better give that back. Come on, come on. Nice of her to tell you, yes, yes, oh god, oh god, I'm not paying attention. No, 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 leave me alone. I can't, I can't, I'm stuck. Where is he? No, dang it, I just put that on the friggin', I did not mean to do that. Oh my gosh, these little guys are annoying, but I think we gotta get rid of the remnant. You can't have me. I am too beautiful. Come on. Um... Who's 
just got. Oh, is that? Is that? I think it is. Every so often, I get to use the blade. So. Dang it! I think I threw that not on the arcane revenant. Wow, or the revenant, not the arcane revenant. Arcane revenant. I'm like, ooh, let's just combine all the horrible things we can think of. Okay, that better have gone to you, guys. Okay, that works. Oh god, I just landed on one of you. Holy crap. Come on. Oh god. Okay. Uh, my friends, it'll be okay. I'm coming. Hopefully we can get multiples of them. I really should be using Solus's attack. I forget. of armor penetration. Holy crap. There's so much loot. It's gonna get to the point where I can no longer carry any of it. Yep. I'm at that point. Actually, I just saw it. Good. Card of Punisher. Yeah, not so good, I think. I have invaluables. Okay. Hmm. I at least need to get to the point where we get another, like, a uh, Inquisition place. Oh, the Wardens. I remember this one. Ah! I'm eating Parmesan bites. is too loud, the hunger too strong. Oh, she ran and didn't see the hole, but she can't move her legs. She can't feel them. Hmm. Shoot. See, this is the thing about the warden's death. It's something that I kind of noticed in Inquisition. That's something I've heard about that you can, um, if you have a custom world state with your warden still alive, like, basically he or she just spends the whole time trying to find a way to make the calling go away. Because it's a horrible way to die. Like, they turn into darkspawn, basically, if they don't go to die. And I'm like, for one thing, I'm like, yeah, the diary, yeah, hmm, I... Shoot, like, this is, the, this is the first entry. Like, I don't want to know the rest. Like, but the way the wardens have to die, I'm kind of, like, maybe some of them would rather die in glory and honor or whatever, but most of them know, like, war isn't honor or glory. It's just blood and bodies, you know? I mean, they've seen the worst that humanity and demons have to offer, basically. This Grey Warden had a map. Could be important. Could be. 
I never completed the map, so reinforced prowler armor and gimme gimme. I don't know. I, I like the idea that your warden is running around trying to save the wardens by getting rid of the calling. Because that's a horrible way to die. Like, they couldn't just kill them in their sleep, right? They couldn't just drink a potion and go to bed and never wake up. They, have, they send them down to the deep roads where they can slowly watch themselves turn into everything that they fight. And then... Unless they're lucky and they die quickly... Otherwise, I mean, like, the stuff like that, they can't guarantee that that kind of thing isn't going to happen. That that girl, for one thing, sending a woman down on her own to the deep road seems like a horrible idea. Because, not because she isn't as capable as the other wardens. Because, freaking heck, she could probably be kicked some of their butts. Like, at least half, you know? But, because, if a woman gets in a situation like that, where her legs are broken, and she can't fight anymore, she doesn't just turn into a dark spawn, she gets turned into a brood mother. And then, if you want to look at it, like, as coldly as you possibly can, and it's not just the fact that being a broodmother is a perversion of everything good and w wonderful in the world, it's that, like, they have to, ugh, they just have to go through, the, they have to make more dark spot. Like, if you don't want to just look at it as a, oh, freaking, yeah, it sucks, like, it's horrible because it's the worst thing that could ever possibly happen to a woman. It's also, hey, wardens, you're sending down somebody by herself who could fall into a situation like that where she is unable to defend herself all of a sudden and is now making more darkspawn. How's that sound? How many broodmothers were former female darkspawn or female wardens? Like, I never thought about that. That's a horrible question to ask. It's horrible. I don't know. The warden's fate is... I mean, if it wasn't so bad, maybe, like, everybody would join, right? It'd be kind of like the Legion of the Dead. But, which it is very similar anyway to the Legion of the Dead. But, am I going the right way? I don't even know. I don't think I am. I went through a door. I went through an extra door, though. Like, which way does she want me to go? The, oh, oh, that's a good point, Imbu. If, if the, um, if the sterility of the Grey Wardens prevents them from becoming broodmothers. I sincerely hope so. I sincerely hope so. I hope that they would just die. You know, like, it's a horrible death, but I just hope they would just die because I would just be like, kill me in my sleep, please. Like, I don't want to go down there and risk that. Like, it's not like a cowardly thing, it's just like, oh my gosh, like, do you really want to take that chance? Like, ah, uh, you... Hang on, uh, can I get around you? That's a good point, though. Thank you for bringing that up, because I didn't even think about that female warden thing until just now, and it was making me very sad. <laughs> and, like, but then again, it's like, who am I, you know, who is anyone to deprive a, a female warden of the chance to, like with her male counterparts and die in this, like, victorious way. You know, like, honorable valor way or whatever, you know? But, like, that wouldn't be fair either. But, is there somebody, is there somebody, like, smacking or, like, every arrows or something? I am, like, as far behind you as I can get right now. Died, so that means she gave us all health. How kind of her. And this guy's stuck in a corner, so that's no good. Oh, I did that in the wrong order. See? Oh, okay. And I think the Grey Wardens that go to the roads to die, they make sure... They make sure they die one way or another. Yeah, I would assume so. I mean, I think, uh, is it a Sunder? You killed books. Darkspawn like you've been doing it your whole life, Inquisitor. <laughs> he means that as a compliment. You're famous. Even down here. <laughs> Is it true you killed a dragon? Uh, yes. Uh... Oh, dang it! No! No, 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 no! 
know. Hang on. Let me re oh, I knew it. I knew it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Hang on. <sighs> we'll see. Dang it. I hate it when I do that. I actually don't do that very often, but. Oh, dang it. Dang it. That could be a funny one. Ugh. That's the thing. Like, I mean, they can try to make sure they die, right? But. It may not always work. I mean, oh, flight spiders. Oh, friggin', I remember you. When I was a, when I was a wee circle mage. I had to kill a bunch of you guys. I think as a last, last, last result, if nothing else, you can bite your tongue and bleed to death that way. But what if they even, like, prevent you from doing that, you know? It just seems like a very risky... I remember this! I was gonna say, I remember this! Because, freaking, I brought Black Ball with me last time. And in this fight, I died so many times. And... Almost every time, Blackwall was the only one to survive. Okay, okay, um. Mm -hmm. You take one of those. Alright, off we go! I need to remember that I have dodge too, I keep forgetting that. Give me stamina! Why is it like, oh my gosh, is it like glitched? Because that, nope, nope. Oh, that was weird. Oh crap. Oh crap. Let's just throw this down right now. And then, oh, he looks so cool when he does that. And then, the uh, poison. Oh shoot, I think I was doing it on the wrong ones. Oh go, oh go. Hi. Okay, good. Oh, sweet! Cassandra! I'm coming, Cassandra! Um... Yeah, all of you. Wow, that did not do much. But sweet! I did another thing where I did the blade thing, and this bow is doing really, really well. Okay, actually... No! Oh, go! Oh, go! I need it! Oh, go! Don't worry, who do you have? You have freaking Cassandra? No! Dang it! Get her him to let put put it uh, uh, Come on, give me something. Uh this one. Okay. Oh go. Oh shoot. We need to get out of here. Oh we lost Cassandra. It's just me and Solus. We're dead. Oh nope. Nope. Nope, you can't find me. Souls is dead. Oh, revive, revive. Don't hit me. Don't you dare hit me. Come on, Dorian. Solus, pay attention to behind you, you idiot. Dorian, you're doing so well! These little guys are so freaking annoying! Ow. 
What? Um, shoot. Uh, uh, who has the thing? Um. Cassandra, come here, Cassandra. Okay, um. Yes! And I brought Dorian back, and I'm Dorian now. Oh boy. Set the guy. I forgot, I need to use my potions better. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Luckily, he's been focused on the dwarves this whole time. Dorian! Oh my gosh! You're in the floor, Dorian! Come on, wakey, 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 wakey. Wow, I'm levitating. It made a noise. That was awesome. Thank you. Are we gonna wake up Solace now? Here, everybody come here. Come, come be near Dorian. Freaking, I didn't realize he made music when he did that. Jeez. Or is that, that, I mean, that can't be the stone thing. This has to be, I didn't realize the, the regeneration thing made music. I think it does. It does. That's kind of cool. I heard laughter. Yeah, yeah, cool. I know, I, I specifically wanted to make sure I got the stuff that had, um... Okay. Ha 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 ha. Alright, I might have to come back for some things. I wanted to make sure to get the, uh... Neighboring effect thing. Healing mist, healing mist will revive people now. I've got it fully upgraded to the point where it will revive... Fallen players. And it will, uh... Ooh, what's over here? And the regeneration poster potion will regenerate everybody in the vicinity. Oh, I was kind of expecting... You know, it's kind of amazing sometimes how much Loop Roads is actually intact. I mean, it, you, probably in its heyday, it was just... Take the blue pill! It was probably... I mean, maybe these walls were painted. Maybe they were all mosaic, you know? As I we're finding out sometimes about, like, I think the Roman sculptures they're finding out recently are, were actually painted at one point. Look at that, Ren. Could this be Tighedron? Dark spawn all over it. You can see their torches. Ew. Even dark spawn appreciate a little mood lighting. Oh, was Getting that directed? To something. You. <laughs> the fight of our lives. Was that directed to me? Dorian? I'm sure he would have said that anyway, but it's a little different when you're romancing him. Predating the first blight? Holy crap, what did he write this letter in? about when the first blight like ha is happening jeez freaking what was it it was um witch hunt i think where you find out what happens to some of the elves who went to the dwarves for safety what happens to the dwarves and the elves and that's in that whole tank like oh my gosh could you just could you could you no you couldn't okay Come on, there is a camp somewhere. Investigate the corpses. What corpses? I wasn't paying attention. Hi. What are you doing in there? Ooh, that was somebody did a combo. One down. One down. Dorian is good at this. Lighting everything on fire thing. Oh, I need to get a fast travel point. Holy freaking Luya. Let's investigate the corpses, though. Apparently, I had to do that. Oh, I thought these were rubble. These are Legion of the Dead, I think. There's nothing left of them. Can't even tell who they were. I'm sorry, Ren. You joined the Legion knowing you're already dead. 
You don't fear the killing blow. We rest in the stone and pass our strength back to her. That's our reward. But the darkspawn... defiled these soldiers. They can't return to the stone. They'd only weaken her. What? There must be some way to lay them to rest with honor. We can burn the remains. Uh, That's it? That's all we can do. You won't even let them... Well... Isn't that what would happen to all of you? Get defiled by the dark spawn? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna double check this fast travel point. I keep punching over, dude. So it's this? Okay. Well, let's save. And I'm gonna fast travel back really quick and sell some things. I'm, I'm emailing somebody really quick. I apologize. Ah, it's gonna take too long. I'm not good at wording emails. I'm not good at wording anything. I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. Hey, hey, Varric. We'll get to your quest soon enough. Don't worry about it. Just be grateful I didn't take you down to the deep roads. I guess we could have gone to... That merchanty thing in the deep roads itself is probably a place where you can sell stuff, huh? Hmm. Okay. That does not make nearly enough room. Holy crap. Um. Reinforced Prowler. Figures, you have to be level freaking 18. I was actually worried that the armor... Time to top up on T, yeah. I was worried that the armor would be too high a level. Hmm, I guess that's not bad. Oh, I can sell that. Well, let's see. Warrior only. So basically this armor is useless to me. Unless, by chance... Nope, because she'd have to be... Okay. I will sell it then. Nope. Nope. Where is he? Current one he has on is better. Not great. Only a little better. Oh, let's check the the iron bull. Keen poison spider. Shoot. Aw, but I like the one he's got on. The wyvern one. Yeah, well, we're gonna we're gonna keep the wyvern one because it looks better. Inventory. Um. Uh, I think. Axe of green edges. Uh. These you may check. Yeah, let's just store that. Nah, nah. nah. Pure's power armor. Hmm. City and night. I'll store it.
Oh, but they're too high level. All level 18. Shoot. Okay. Well, I don't know how far off we are, but I can't afford to keep everything. Yeah. I'll store it for now, even though I never look at storage. Sandra. Oh, we'll do black wall really quick. Oh wait, nope, didn't mean to do that. Black wall. We'll see if his shield. No nope. shield. Oh, basically the same. Cassandra, would you like? Yeah, that looks cool. I mean that uh, it's a good one it's got melee defense and range defense and magic defense well it doesn't actually have ranged oh Embu brought found a reddit thread where they're discussing the female warden thing the things that we mentioned earlier ooh Welcome back, Larry. <laughs> oh, hi, Gat. <laughs> I am live for once. Yay, I know. I, uh, I haven't done this in a long time. I did it like once, once or twice before, but, and I really enjoyed it. I just feel bad. Like, I feel like I maybe need to be more exciting, but <laughs> it is what it is. That Avenger sword is awesome. So pretty. If I had found this sooner with my one-handed character, I might have. I might have kept it. I might. I might have not gone over to the dark side. And become a two-handed warrior. Nah, but freaking, you cannot rip certainty out of my cold dead hands. <sighs> Accessories. They are always like I don't freaking know. Oh, let's give Sarah. Um, dexterity plus ten. Seems like there's no definitive answer though. But the but wardens that even get to experience that calling like that are few, and they know enough about darkspawn and taint that they make sure they die one way or another. Mm. I guess yeah, the calling doesn't always happen, huh? Because you you're more likely to just die in battle. Like, those who don't die in battle are the ones that have to go through the calling. But, I just wish there was an easier way of it. I uh, just wonder, I wonder, I wonder if they're going to address that in future games. Just, the fact that, like, they just kind of throw in, if you happen to have a world save, they're like, Oh, by the way, your warden, if she's alive, or he is alive, um... They uh, get to be running around looking for a way to cure the blight. And I was like, well, that's pretty freaking cool. Eh. Iron Bull has the superb ring of sundering on. Ring of flanking. Uh, let's give you a ring of flanking and then toss a spike trap. Armor penetration, though. I might give that to... Cassandra? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. 
Yeah, more Great Warden stuff coming in the next game, seeing as how the ending of Drag of Inquisition hinted at infighting in the Wardens. Yeah, and you know what's funny? As I've been reading my Dragon Age lore books again recently, and um, every single one of them mentions that the first Warden has, for years now, been obvi has, has seemed to be more occupied with political machinations than the running of the Wardens. Because the Anderfels King is, like, weak, I think, or something. Like, the monarchy itself is weak. Yeah, good find, for sure. That's what Larry says. Um... But yeah, apparently the first warden has been like has like eyes on like apparently according to you know rumor has eyes on the throne of Ander of the Anderfells, and they're not wardens are supposed to not we all know right like they are not supposed to be involved in politics. That's what got the first, the wardens and Ferelden in trouble the first time around. Why they got booted out? Um, but that I mean it made sense in a way because the wardens were trying to protect the people. But then you have the same kind of situation in Kirkwall, where the Templars took over when the previous guy was apparently not adept and like was was causing trouble, was causing pain and suffering. Um, so the Templars, at the behest of the people, took over basically, threw him out, coup, did a coup basically, and basically, in the power vacuum, it was only them left you know it wasn't like they picked i mean they you know meredith did eventually pick somebody to kind of be her puppet or whatever but yeah it's just it's a little bit it's it's very questionable some of it the i mean what happens when when you try to go too far like with the in the in origins you have the dlc soldier's peak and you see what happens you, you know almost firsthand when the wardens tried to go I mean, it was for a good cause, right? They were trying to defend the people from a corrupt king. The Templars were trying to, you know, supposedly, there's, you know, always a little bit of both, especially in, Temp in Kirkwall, everything's always messed up, but they tried to protect the people from a corrupt leader there, too. So, it's like, the, you know, everyone's like, oh, it's your it's your job to protect us. And that's what kind of convinced the Warden and Ferelden to, to, to get involved was because they were supposed to protect people, but it's like, no, we are only supposed to protect people from the Blight. We can't do anything else, you know? And the Templars are only supposed to protect people from magic and mages from magic. Nothing else. Like, once you start overstepping your bounds, it's like, things go bad. Um, oh, me, okay, no, I can go, I'll go there. Was there something else I kind of wanted to do? I can't remember. I don't think so. Solus's car hasn't changed yet. I'm pretty sure, even if you're friendly with him, his card turns into the tower card. Which is kind of intimidating looking. I don't know if it changes in the game though. If, I don't know. I only, I only ever romanced him. Exactly. I was going to lead up to that. And for why you always disband the Inquisition. I mean the hints are everywhere. Like. They're everywhere. About what happens when powers overstep their bounds. Oh. I didn't realize that. Let's hire the... Hire the dwarves. Good, you know, economical relations. Yay! <laughs> what, for reals? We're, we're do for reals? Holy crap, I got 200 influence! Wait, 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 wait. Do I, get to, do I get to take part in this? I only have two power left? Pride of... Nah. Oh, 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 this is where I get to keep my mugs! Oh, that's cute! 
That's cute. Wait, where? I better be able to access this. I've always kind of wondered what ale tastes like. Like, do they make ale anymore? Like, that seems like an old fashioned y thing. But it sounds cool, you know? You read about it in all the fantasy stories. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I don't see a barrel of ale. Oh, uh, can I? Please, please let me. Whoop. I know, the lore is awesome. The lore of this game. I mean, I love Mass Effect stuff, and I read the codex entries all the time, you know. But, like, the Dragon Age stuff is just so complex. I think the next thing on my list to get is the Dragon Age uh, role-playing game rulebook. Because apparently that has a lot of really cool stuff, too, and, like, little tidbits of lore that you may not have, you know, noticed otherwise. Yeah, and it, and it facilitates so much discussion. Like, there's there's very rarely, like, I mean, there's canon stuff, but then you can always, like, stuff can be reinterpreted. And I love, like, I mean, I love talking to people on YouTube and in the comments and on Twitch, obviously, because it's like, it's like, oh, there's, like, I would never have thought about the fact. I always forget about the sterility of the Grey Wardens. I don't know why. I just don't, I don't ever remember that that's a thing. Where's that? That was the... That was the barrels, right? I'm not sure where... Quartermaster. Not sure where this bridge is, apparently. Interesting that Solus is like, I, I kind of like that the Inquisitor is like, not everything good comes from the Fades, so this, and Solus is like, well, I mean, I guess, but it has to come from somewhere. It's like, not everything originates in the Fade. As far as I'm aware, at, least at this point, not everything originates in the Fade. But who knows what Solus is going to tell us in the next game. All right, let's go further down because that's exactly what I want to do. I just love that people like have these massive forums where they like talk about it, like all the little things Keep that they don't get addressed in the game. Darkspot. The blood's poison. Uh... I've killed Darkspot. There was his Carter boy, Vaughn who joined the Legion around the same time I did. Fast with daggers. Could poke 50 holes in a herlock before the blighter knew what happened. Daggers are messy. Vaughn swallowed some spatter. Took him three days to die. Why don't you just, like, kill them? I feel like a mercy killing there would be okay. You can still get ale on Amazon? For reals? It's... <laughs> You can get it on Amazon? Of course you can get it on Amazon. I have recently, like, I've always liked using Amazon, but recently I've been using it a lot more for all, I bought Talked shoes the on there the other day. Once. She fell down a hole. Found her three days later. She was great, great. She loves this story. <laughs> she spent a whole day telling us all the strange things a she saw day. while lost. Oh, hey. A golden longboat. Sweet. Floating in the air. Packs of Hairless children hunting nugs. A giant skeleton on a throne. Was it true? <laughs> Never found out. She woke up the next day. Couldn't remember any of it. Oh, what? Uh, huh? I believe it. You can find anything down here, I bet. I found some pretty creepy things in the, in the deep roads. That was totally an accident. I'm really glad I just wandered over there and found that. Summerstone? What's Summerstone doing down here? What can't you get on Amazon? I know. Well, I was, uh, I do archaeology as my main job. And, um, you need to get really good freaking boots to do that job. And I had a hole in both, both pair of my, or both, you know, each shoe in my boots. And I had to get new ones. And I, I was like, I would never buy shoes online. Like, I have to try them on. But then I was like, or I could just buy 
the shoes that I think look cool or look good, you know, it looked like they will fit my qualifications and then return them. Like return the ones I don't want. And that's what I did. And I found a really nice pair of boots and I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. A giant skeleton on a throne, I know, right? Like, what was that? Like, ugh, I don't even, ah, I just, I have ideas, but it's like, you know, oh god, oh god, oh god, this is a bar. I am so glad I'm scanning like every three feet, because otherwise I would not see these. I'm really intrigued by the golden longbow. I'm like, I could see the other stuff being, oh no, I forgot. I forgot to refill my stuff. That's what I wanted to do. Oops. I always forget you don't have to do that. Okay. I'm gonna travel back up to the... This one. I think there was a thing there. Like, where I could do my potions. Equip. Oh, I ran... Oh, I'm already, like, full... Well, okay, hang on, hang on. Craft it. It's not gonna be in the crafting materials, is it? No. Freaking, they have silverite. Oh my gosh. No. 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 Oh my gosh. We're doomed. We're doomed. Okay, what did I, what did I need for those? Wait. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Death Root and Blood Lotus. I'm just trying to think of where I could buy those. Oh, where could I buy them? I don't want to have to go get them. I just want to buy them. Crystal. Or Skyhold. Um. It's just always kind of iffy. Oh yeah, I have to do that. Okay, I mean the Black Emporium might. Yeah, yeah, I mean, right? Yeah. I think it's my best bet at this point. I just know sometimes the Emporium doesn't always have stuff that I want. I was told once, it depends on your level. <laughs> I was like, I'm freaking, I'm like 18 almost. Give me what I want. Nope. You don't get what you want till you're older. Everything is for sale. Except the rejuvenating ones. Those are for my personal use. Alrighty. It's not gonna be in here. I think it's like one of the only things you can't buy from the Black Emporium is plants. Schematics. Weapons and accessories. Schematics of legends. Is she in here? Oh. Uh, handle the mirror with care. It has been known to bite. I think. Do not antagonize Chauncey, the tiny bear. He may be small, a, it's an elf, but he nips. Or a, a, uh, an owl from Dirt of Men. Hey! Oh, you got like a white raven up there. What the heck? And it's alive. I never noticed that before. That's a dwarven cask. That's Orlesian. I mean, there's red lyrium around. I was always expecting more from this place. I think in uh, two, it, it's very well done. Everything is for sale. Except the rejuvenating oils. Those are for my... Mm, mm, Chauncey! I want Chauncey so bad. 
you know, ooh, I know there's supposed to be a monster down there. I want to get fly cam and like fly around in here and see what I can find. Phylacteries. I mean, you may like, pet the tiny bear, there. but be gentle. A magista miniaturized oh, in there she is in the cage at great cost. Next to the statue? What? He answers oh. to Chauncey. He answers to Chauncey. Next, okay, wait, wait. In the cage next to the statue. Where was I? Wait, where was it? I saw it. <gasps> oh my gosh, I think you're right. Oh, dang it, I can't like jump up there. Okay, hang on. Where is the earth? No. <laughs> I require the services oh. of the earth. Oh my gosh! It is her! I want to jump up there, but I can't! You can't, you can't! Alright, you just activate this. Oh, so freaking sneaky. Oh my gosh. I think it is her. Wow! Wow! That is cool and horrible. Like wow! Can I like? Nope, I can't stick my face in there. Wow! Let's see, is there anything can I see up here? No. Wow! I am so glad you were paying attention, Embu. Holy crap! Like now, I just need to like. Crawl around and paint. I have quite an extensive library on the history of forbidden magic. Yeah, I wish magic. I could look at it. Chauncey! It's so back cute. there. Somewhere. Yes! I, I, I think I haven't been able to Guy. turn my head Guy. to look for you're, two you're centuries. You're so freaking loud. Um, no, yeah, yeah, that's the exact same position that she, she died in or whatever, or was frozen in. Her, like, arms were down and everything. They were, like, dropped to her side and, like, kneeling. And she was, like, leaning back because she was in pain. Like, I remember that battle. That was the most intense battle in Dragon Age. Period. Like, in any of the Dragon Age. Is multiples. Well, there was no friggin' plants in there. Um... Probably somebody in Orlais has one, but... Some or something. Probably should be faster to go. What about any blood lotus? If it was blood lotus and something else. I don't know. We'll just go grab some, I guess. Don't mind us. We'll be back. You know, we're just gonna leave the deep roads for a minute because we're land people. And, uh, is what we like. We like the land and we're gonna just take a break for a minute. <laughs> No, that's really cool. Like, now I'm like, oh, like, I wonder if you could find, like, Orsino in there. Not that, I mean, he died in, like, a horrible way. But I wish they'd put more stuff in the, the Emporium that was, like, like callbacks to previous games. I've actually kind of wondered, I mean, it's not. But, and I've heard, you know what else I've heard? Or I, I've, I've seen anyway, I saw like a snapshot of it, I'm not sure, or a screen cap thingy of it, and I'm not sure if it's real or not. But somebody said that they saw um, Meryl's Illuvian in the between area where Morrigan takes you uh, when you get her and she like shows you like um, what the Illuvians do. Uh, apparently, uh, Meryl's Illuvian's in there. And I was like, say what? I mean, I might, and I guess that maybe it depends on your world save. Like, if you if you encouraged Meryl to, to, you know, work on the Alluvian or not. Or if you encouraged her to abandon it. But, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it, that's, what I, that's what I saw. I saw a screen cap of it. I only saw one, but I was like, holy crap. I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. All the Illuvians connect, right? Even the broken ones. I don't know. It actually looked just like her Illuvian. So I don't know if, like, her Illuvian, like... Because you have to see it on the other side, right? Like, the Illuvian, obviously... Probably all Illuvians lead to the between. So, wherever her alluvium was, it was leading to the between, and then she could go from there to the uh, to the counterpart, 
either to the counterpart to her mirror or just into the between, maybe. I know some of them just jump straight through, right? And then some of them go to the between and you can just kind of wander where you want. But... This might interest you, sir. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, I need death root. That was one that was like... I need to just I need to find a place to buy these and just buy a crap ton. Crossroads? Try the crossroads. But I think no matter what happens, Meryl's alluvian is broken. Yes. It's good to Blood Lotus. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 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 It was really cool because, like, I, well, the picture I saw, because it looks nothing like the other Alluvians. The other Alluvians are all graceful looking. But I've always thought, well, when I found out what her Alluvian looked like, I thought her Alluvian... Yeah. Um, I thought her Alluvian looked a lot like the Mirror of Transfiguration. So maybe Meryl's Alluvian isn't actually an Alluvian, and that's why she couldn't get it working. That's interesting. I wonder if that's been brought up anywhere. Because I thought it looked suspiciously like the... But I, I mean, if, if I saw them side by side, there might be significant differences. But they have similar designs. Leiliana is by default hardened. Yeah, she's basically... Yeah. Like, is she just... Is she hardened in, like, the custom world? Or, like, in your... Like, when I up... When I just play, like... I don't, I don't upload a custom world state. Does she start out kind of hardened? Or to, like if, and if but if you're like really palsy with her and she doesn't kill whatever that lady's name is, then maybe she's not hardened. That's interesting. Mm, I'm gonna look up where to buy <laughs> where to buy death root. It's like Amazon. Am Amazon, that's where you buy death root. Please tell me where to buy it. Wow. You can buy it from... I knew, I figured, I thought the village of Crestwood, blah, blah, blah. Okay. If you manage to stop nourishing and kill them. Yeah, I don't know how you actually go... So she just starts out hard and... I mean, that makes sense. So then you can kind of re-soften her. Because she starts out, you know, all cuddly and wonderful in Origins. And she's great in Inquisition. But yeah, I, I didn't know the first time I played. I was just like, oh my gosh! Like, it got to the point where I was like... To that point, And I was like, oh, uh, that's sort of terrifying. And from then on, I was a little, just a little tiny, teeny, tiny bit terrified of her. Like, a lot of, more, even more than before, you know? It was like, oh, she's actually quite terrifying. That's the village. Yeah, I want to go to the village. I think, I think this time I'm playing, so that she'll, I think, I'm pretty dang sure she'll be hardened in this playthrough as well. Because I like the idea of her and, uh, and my Talon. Because I think Talon's, very, he's nice to most people. He can be very direct. But when he's with Leliana, like, his inner assassin comes out over both of them, and they just work off each other really well. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way to get the threesome, isn't it? <laughs> I'm someday gonna make a warden who would be cool with that. Friggin' me, Zevran, Isabella, and Leliana. I was like, 
I, somebody said you could do that, and I was like, how? I'm like looking at Leliana. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> Just gotta think creatively. Well, I just spent a ridiculous amount. I'm sure when Isabella mentions it, that would have to be so funny. And when you run into Zevran again, that would be funny. Well, and Anders says something too. Actually, apparently, like he better once at the at the end as well. Or the was it the white the the pearl? The, was it just the pearl? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 